Hey there YouTube lovers, my name is BB8 and today I am going to review Pac-Man Wall Repack. This is probably one of the most random things I could ever review on my channel, but the reason I'm bringing it up now is because I wanted to play this game when it first released, but it was one I never got to. But when I saw Pac-Man World Repack on CD Keys for $10.99, I thought I would get it and I would finally review this game once and for all. And what did I think about it? You're about to find out. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? For the gameplay, Pac-Man World stays true to the Pac-Man franchise, and Repack is no different, since it still provides a nostalgic experience without interfering with the gameplay. The gameplay is a mix of platforming, boss fights, and the original maze levels of Pac-Man, with each having a different layout in every level, which makes things less repetitive if you find the maze in each level. The Clown Grand Prix level within the game is one that stands out to me the most since you are driving or racing against a whole bunch of clowns and while the game does introduce a variety of bosses with each of them being solidly designed, the overall experience of Pac-Man World Repack is just too easy for me, with the exception of the final boss. And some players may benefit from an easier platforming experience, but for me, it felt too easy. One thing that does affect the gameplay is the lack of content that Repack offers. I completed this game within five hours, not all in one go, but in multiple settings, it took me 5 hours in total to beat Pac-Man World Repack because of how short it was. I feel like Pac-Man World Repack would have benefited from being in a, in a 3 game collection like Crash End Scene Trilogy, Spyro Reignited Trilogy, or Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I get this is not Activision or Nintendo we're talking about, but I feel like this is a thing they should have done if they planned on remaking all three of them, with the other two coming later down the line. For the graphics and the performance, another thing I really liked about Pac-Man World Repack was the improvement in visuals and performance. The game looks more cleaner with the updated graphics from the original PlayStation. The updated graphics in the game make some of the environments stand out a bit more, and here's one of the best parts. It runs at 60 frames per second on Nintendo Switch. It isn't locked at 60 when specific things happen within the levels, but it can run at 60 frames per second. But the only thing you are really sacrificing if you go performance mode is the visuals. But at the end of the day, it does run smoother in performance mode. The only negatives I can say I have with the visuals are to do with the character animations and one of the boss designs feeling a bit off in comparison to the original game. The lack of expressiveness in comparison to the original game did take away from some of the personality the original game had going for it. It's not a major flaw, but I feel like I would have enjoyed the game a bit more if the character animations were kept expressive and cartoony like in the original game. While I didn't mind the remake's designs of each character in the game, I just feel like one of the bosses looked off in comparison to the original, and that is Chrome Keeper whose design I preferred in the original game even though I didn't play it, and more expressive character designs like in Super Mario 64 and Banjo-Kazooie is what I like about 90s 3D platformers more than modern 3D platformers, with the exception of Astrobot, which does actually get expressive with its character designs, I just feel like the older stuff like Super Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, and Pac-Man World were more expressive in terms of character designs. I didn't mind Talkman's new design, since it stays true to Pac-Man's design than whatever this is. And finally, to end the review, we have the story. 
the story in Pac-Man World Repack is nothing to write home to, but since we have seen stories like it multiple times within the Mario franchise, like Super Mario 64 and Super Mario World as a prime example, before the original Pac-Man World even came out, but the only difference with Pac-Man this time is that Pac-Man needs to save his entire family, which consists of Pac-Mom, who replaces Miss Pac-Man from the original due to legal reasons, Pac-Boy, who replaces Junior Pac-Man, Pac-Sis, who replaces Baby Pac-Man, Chomp Chomp the Dog, Puka, and Professor Pac-Man, who are all kidnapped by Pac-Man, an evil robot version of Pac-Man who's just a ghost in a robo Pac-Man suit. The story involves you going from one level to the next, unlike Super Mario 64 and Banjo-Kazooie, two notable platformers from the time. But unlike them two, the levels aren't as impactful. One creative choice I did find odd about Pac-Man World Repack is how each level in the game is named episode. Not all of them are named exactly the one word episode, but each level in the game is called something and has episode at the end, which I just feel like it felt a bit out of place and doesn't really add anything to the overall experience of Pac-Man World. And the game is also quite short even for a remake of a game from 1999, which is a bit of a letdown in my opinion, especially for players like me who just look for a game with more content. A more stretched out version of the original with more levels added to it would have made Repack a way lot better than it already is. At the end of the day, Pac-Man World Repack is a harmless remake that stays true to the original as much as it can while bringing some visual improvements and the Clown Grand Prix level is probably the best level in the whole game. And the maze design, not being repetitive, actually does add more enjoyment to the game. But I feel like the things that hold it back are the game's short length and the lack of difficulty, which doesn't bring it up there with Super Mario 64 or Banjo-Kazooie in terms of quality, but the game would have been more enjoyable if the animations were still expressive like in the original game, and while the music does feel nostalgic, it does get repetitive through its melody. However, to the viewers who are fans of Pac-Man, go for it, I recommend it. But for casuals, I recommend waiting to pick this up during a sale than buying the game at full price. And that is why I give Pac-Man World Repack the play then sell perk. And overall, I give Pac-Man World Repack a 7 out of 10. While I wouldn't say waiting two years to play this game was all the way worth it with the flaws that the game has, I can say for now, if you are looking for a 3D platformer, Pac-Man World Repack is not a bad choice. I just feel like what Repack did in comparison to the original was not enough to make this a higher rated remake for me. So guys, what did you think of my review of Pac-Man World Repack? And like I said in my annual review of Overwatch 2, if there is a review you would like to request, the form is in the description below. And hopefully my review of Resident Evil 2, the 2019 version, since it was one of my requests. I'm hoping to get my review out for Resident Evil 2 by the end of the month, given that it is a horror game after all. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on, so you don't miss another video like this one in the future. And I will see you all in a future video. BB-8, out.